Hey, I'd like to share my screen with you for a funny picture and the topic of today. Can you see that? High winds, heavy rains hit by Bay Area and some poor slob who had his car crushed by a tree. <laughs> Trees always land on leaves, mine. So that's my car. That was my car. So we'll stop the share real quick. Now, what do you do when something funky like that happens to you in your life? I guess that's that'll be the topic this week is when something unusual, unexpected, inexplicable, seemingly random or unfortunate happens. I've always found it my own personal interesting challenge to uh, say the prayer great good comes from this as quickly as possible. And that happened. I got the call from Danville police on Saturday night. I took my car down. There's a long row in Danville where in front of the high school where everybody parks their cars for sale. I took my car down there on Saturday morning and kind of looking around for a parking space parked in one place, but didn't really like it so much. And then I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to park over there. I'm going to intuitively park right underneath that tree that's going to crush my car. <laughs> And that's what I done. And then I went home and then it was starting to storm really bad. And on Saturday, I was like, Saturday night, it was like, I had this inkling just to go get my car. It was like, you know, I should just go get my car. Nobody's gonna buy it. And I looked at the Uber prices and they were very expensive and I got distracted. And it was like, ah, oh, screw it. No, um, I'll just leave my car there. I'll get it tomorrow. And it's just, it's interesting when something like this happens, my mind goes through so many permutations and I'm really on the tipping point of being pissed off, aggravated, frustrated. And I tend to magnify something way beyond its, I mean, does it really matter in the overall scheme of things? One of my favorite teachers, Esther Hicks, she travels around the country in a mo motor home and she tells a great story about she was in a motorhome park and it was uh, it had a particular sort of driveway or entrance to the park and you had to go through the right entrance and you had to come in at exactly the right angle with these gigantic motorhomes. And this one guy was trying to come in the front gate and he didn't do the procedure properly. He ended up just scraping about half of his motorhome off and and he got out and he was bereft. And his wife got out and was smiling and talking to Esther and saying, you know what, just paint and metal, just paint and metal. So I guess what I noticed for myself is that it's an interesting opportunity to practice great good comes from this gratitude, appreciation, also the magnitude or proportion of things. I really, really don't want to be the kind of person who's vulnerable or feels damaged by the loss of a $5,000 automobile. I just, I'd like to play bigger in the world than that. And so it, this is really a test of my emergency spiritual broadcasting system. And it's really, it's going quite well. And I notice, I notice my, uh, when my humor comes back, tree lands on leaf. Well, duh, trees have been landing on leaves for a long time. I called the branch manager of my insurance com company, uh, I don't know, other funnier things will come along soon, I'm sure. But this week is also in, in uh, a spiritual program that many of us belong to. There's one very important line. It talks about the serenity to match any calamity. And in the overall scheme of things, this is such a teeny little calamity. And yet we meet whatever calamities we have with whatever magnitude they seem to come up with, I'd like to meet them with joyfulness, cheerfulness. Uh, there really are no such things as accidents. And even if something does appear to be an accident, it's not an accident if it's used to strengthen um, faith, belief, optimism, uh, and the sense that God love source is my provision, my supplier, my provider, and that all is well and 
will always continue to be well. So this week we might think about the serenity to match calamity and and how we all might um, expand and grow that. And I guess I was kind of praying to be front page news sooner or later. And there you go. So anyway, have a great day and laugh along with me and have a beautiful rest of the week and we'll continue on the topic. I'll see you.